You probably already have an inkling of some of the things that you can do with the Media Vault. It leads a sort of a dual life, actually, sort of like Superman. It is a mild-mannered network drive during the day, responsible for tasks like backup and file storage. And it's a spandex-clad, kick-ass media server at night, delivering entertainment to a media-starved metropolis. Wow. Let's begin with the most important task, at least from my perspective, and that is backing up our data, most specifically backing up our photos. Now, in most homes these days, the family photos are scattered all over the place. You got prints and photo albums. You got digital photos on every single computer in the house. In my home, we have most of the pictures on my desktop computer, but my son has a whole whack of shots that he's taken on his Media Center PC, and all the girls have pictures on their Macs. And I think out of all of them, mine are the only ones that are backed up. Now, regardless of how often I harp on them to back up their pictures, they don't listen. And neither do you, right? Well, if we don't back up our photos now, with the Media Vault installed, we probably never will. And backing up photos is just the first task for the Media Vault. I can also store or back up all of my documents and important files on the Media Vault. And the Media Vault has all the tools to make that easy and automatic. So let us take a look. We're going to go into the Media Vault software, which is installed on my computer. And once again, this software accesses the Media Vault. The Media Vault isn't actually attached to my computer. It's a network device. So I'm going out now over the network, and I'm managing the Media Vault. And when I'm brought into the software, in the main area, I can browse the Media Vault, which I've shown you. We can look at the different directories and the different logical drives that are attached to the Media Vault. But what I want to show you here is the backup area. We go into backup, and this is a very simple wizard that will do our main backup task, backing up our important files, our entire hard drive, or restoring an entire hard drive. Now, we can install this software on multiple computers, so it can do the same thing for a whole series of computers, for actually every computer in the house. Now, let's take a look at the backing up your important files. And it's really very simple if you have all your files properly organized on your computer's hard drive. If you have a My Documents folder that contains my videos and my pictures and all that sort of stuff, then you just say, I want to back up my documents, and it will now automatically run through and back up all of your documents on to the Media Vault. It's that simple to do. And let's actually take another look back here at the Media Vault for a second. And as I mentioned before, we can add another internal drive to the Media Vault, giving us up to 1.2 terabytes of storage. And it also has USB ports. So we could conceivably connect additional USB drives to the Media Vault, allowing us to then back up our backup. And then you can take your backup of your backup and move it off-site. It's really your choice because the Media Vault will let you manage your network as you see fit. Now, I mentioned that our house has a mixed network, Macs and PCs, and that's no problem with the Media Vault because Macs, Linux machines, Windows PCs, they can all back up their files and access the features of the Media Vault. Let me show you that just really quickly. I've got a MacBook here, and it is on the same wireless network as the rest of the computers in the set here. And if we take a look here in the network area, we'll find that we have the MS Home Network, which is the network that the Media Vault lives on. Opening that folder shows me the Media Vault available to me as a server. Now, if I double click on that server, what happens is I am now able to access the different shared volumes on the server. See, the exact same volumes that are available to me in Windows are now available to me on the Mac. So I can back up all my files from the Mac and access the Media Vault from the Mac as well. But, you know, the Media Vault is much more than just a backup device. It's also a server delivering data to our computers and media devices. That's really the other half of what the Media Vault does. So as well as backing up my media, I'm also going to use the Media Vault to store my media so I can view it on other devices. Let me show you that right now. I'm going to browse here in the Windows machine my Media Vault so I can see the different logical drives, and then I'm going to open My Pictures folder, and I'm just going to take a whole whack of pictures here from the My Pictures folder, I'm going to drag them into the Media Share folder. The reason I'm doing that is I want to be able to access those files on other devices. Now, I can do this with all my music, with my videos. They'll all be sitting here on the server waiting for someone to use them on one of our other media devices in the digital living room, like, say, the Media Smart TV over here. And that's what I'm going to show you in just a few minutes.